It's said that love comes to you when you least expect it, and oftentimes in ways you could never imagine. In Maddie Dawson's latest novel, The Opposite of Maybe, a 44-year-old woman discovers love when everything else in her life seems out of sorts. Here in Connecticut, we know this author as Sandy Con Shelton, who is a popular humor and feature columnist for the New Haven Register and Working Mother magazine for many years. Nice to have you here. Sandy, right? Should I go with that? Go with Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so tell us a little bit uh, about your book book and why you decided to have the pen name? Well, the pen name came about because my first three novels really had to do with young protagonists. Mm -hmm. And so when I wrote the fourth novel and the protagonist was 50 years old. <laughs> she grew up, I guess, She grew right? up. She grew up. And my editor said, You're, the people that we want to read this novel aren't going to know to buy it because they're going to think of you as a chiclet. Chiclet, right? Yes, That's they chiclet, said. right. <laughs> okay. So they said, Get a new name and start again. So that's what I did. And your husband kind of has one too, right? To yeah, go he along decided with it? he'd be Steve Dawson. That's what I he's like decided that. to be. Uh, well, give us the uh, synopsis of the book. Well, let's see. It's about a 44-year-old woman, okay. Rosie, who discovers that she's pregnant for the first time. And this wasn't anything she ever thought her life would have. She's been in a relationship with a guy for 15 years, and they've just sort of been going along. You know, everything's they've been They've never got fine. married. They forgot to get married. They forgot to get married. Yeah. <laughs> It's just kind of, they're, they're sort of slackers, you okay. know. And then he gets an opportunity to move across country, and he leaves, and they're sort of breaking up, and she discovers that she's pregnant. And oh. she decides, she moves back in with her grandmother who raised her, who's 88 years old, and her whose health is really starting to fail. So suddenly all these decisions, her life has just completely changed. Wow, that's very interesting. Uh, and you say kind of the novels are about finding where you truly belong. It seems like that kind of reflects that. It's exactly. true. I think that she always just thought things would happen to her and that it was all okay. And then suddenly she has to choose. So instead of just maybe to everything, it's now the opposite of maybe. She has to make some real decisions. Got it. Let me ask you, you were uh, a columnist in the register for quite some time, yeah. uh, kind of about being a, being a mom more or less. Yeah. How does that play into your writing today? Well, I think that any kind of writing sort of feeds each other. Um, I, I was a humor columnist, uh -huh. and I think that I have this sort of view of life that it's the tragic and the humorous kind of going together. Kind of make light of a situation if exactly, you can. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And sort of that even in the midst of real change and craziness, that there's these wonderful light parts and times that you realize where you're really meant to be. Sense. And now uh, this is certainly not your first book. This is certainly not my first book. <laughs> this is, I think, my eighth book. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the works for you next? Well, I'm working on another one um, mm -hmm. about a woman who's adopted. So that's oh. been, it's again, finding your family and finding who you're supposed to be with and what your life is supposed to be about. Uh, Sandy, I understand that you uh, teach writing workshops. I do. One of the things I love doing is helping nurture other writers. So I teach creative writing workshops for people who want to write their memoirs, who have a story that they want to tell that they've just never told anyone before. And also I teach fiction writing workshops for people who are working on novels and we just sit and pull them all apart and I think of how them, they right? go to bed. Go get better. How do we uh, how do we sign up? How do we find you? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> um, you, my email address is Sandy, which is S A N D I, okay, at SandyShelton.com, and. Because I'm really two people, Maddie Dawson as well. Does Maddie have an email? <laughs> Maddie has an email, and Maddie also has a website, which okay. is maddiedawson.com. We'll find that. And lastly, I know you have an appearance at the New Haven Lawn Club coming up on April 9th. Yes, sponsored by RJ Julia. I'll be reading from the book and signing copies, and there'll be food and stuff like that. Very good. Sounds like a fun night. The name of the book again is The Opposite of Maybe. We could find it just about everywhere. I think so. Starting April 9th. Starting April 9th. Very good. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. More Connecticut Style after the break. We'll be right back.